Hey there, biodiesel enthusiast. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the earlier Volkswagen diesels. Volkswagen and Audis uh, used a very similar system on, on most of the cars, so we'll just talk about things that uh, you'll come across uh, running biodiesel on them. Um, it's you know incredibly important that the uh, injection pump gets a uh, good quantity of good quality clean filtered fuel. If it gets uh, denied fuel, um, uh, it can hurt the pump. The, uh, the fuel is lubricated by the fuel. No fuel, no lubricant, breaks down the pump, car breaks down, gets really expensive. So don't do that. Always make sure that you <coughs> uh, try to buy good quality filtered fuel, no dirt, no water, bacteria. If you do plug a filter, like when you switch over to biodiesel, biodiesel is like a laxative. It'll clean out your fuel tank. Whatever's in your tank, it's going to end up in your fuel filter. Um, so we recommend that you run a couple tanks through and then change your filter, look to see what's inside your filter. If there's nothing inside of it, then you can pretty well forget about it. If there is something inside of it, then you can bet that there's more in the fuel tank. So. You, you can't uh, can't ignore this. Um, these are pretty easy to change. Um, I should use a filter wrench to loosen it up on the bracket here, and then we unbolt the bracket, lift it up, and unscrew it. And then uh, we uh, pour the filter into a clean container, just like I'd done previously, and so we can see what came out of it. You can see there that there's a whole bunch of, of ickies, stuff that's not fuel. Anything that's not fuel is bad. Uh, so that's, a, you know, that's pretty horrific there. Oh, and then, um, so you don't uh, get an airlock in the system, you need to refill the filter with fuel. At least that's the easiest way we found to do it. Um, you know, it's got to be good, clean fuel. Don't pour that fuel back into it. You can use some additive, or um, you know, we uh, have people just to fill up uh, a good, clean juice bottle uh, fuel at our station and then pour it in. So you want to get that pretty full, then screw it back on, uh, tighten it down, make sure you've got all your connections, and then start the car. If you've driven the car uh, too long with a plug filter and it's quit running, that's introduced air into the system and you have to bleed the air out. So, you know, you want to do the same thing. You'll uh, fill the filter full of fuel and then you might want to use uh, something you know, uh, like this. This is an outboard motor uh, fuel pump with a primer bulb. So you would attach that from there to there and that would force fuel into the pump. The pump pumps fuel pretty well, but not air. Whole different story there. Um, and you could, you know, you could crank forever. Um, and once you get fuel to the pump, then you want to crack the, the lines on the injectors. Uh, just a quarter turn, let them loose. And what that does is that when you crank it, it lets the air out of the system. So you crank it until you see fuel dancing from those, and then tighten them back up, and then go through your starting procedure. But uh, um, that's something you want to be really careful about. There's tons of things online about that, so uh, check it out. Bidiesel gets blamed for everything in the world, from making hoses go bad, to pump failures, from tires going flat, uh, you know, on and on and on, and you know, most of the time isn't guilty. Uh, but uh, if you plug a filter and keep running it and ruin your pump, you know that's that's your fault. That's not uh, it's not Biodiesel's fault. Let's just clean out the garbage that's uh, that's in there. Usually, uh, anytime your car runs any differently, you want to uh, and you check your fuel filter first. Um, uh, diesel fuel out there is just notoriously uh, dirty. Um, and it's pretty easy to plug a filter, especially if you go back and forth in between diesel and biodiesel, because biodiesel will clean out your tank.
sigue siendo.